So Games Workshop recently decided to release some more details on their new list building app, and to be honest, it looks pretty promising. Let's take a minute to go over what has been revealed for this app and whether or not it may be the way forward for list building in the future. So first off, one thing that GW has done, which I think is awesome, is allow the app to be accessed for free for new players. They'll have the core rules available, probably just the PDF that they've released on Warhammer Community already. So not the full rules with all of the detachment and stratagem rules, etc. But it is nice to have a quick reference available on your phone without having to work through a clunky PDF. You'll also get access to all codexes and supplements, but there is a pretty big catch that I think a lot of people have overlooked, which is that you require a special code to unlock those codexes in the app. That said, if you are a subscriber, and we'll talk about that in a sec, because I do think that the cost to subscribe is relatively low, you will only get access to 8th edition codexes, which means that as soon as they tick over to 9th and are re-released, you'll have to input a code in order to unlock them. GW's article is pretty disingenuous, however, because under <laughs> the heading, The Free Offer, they explain that you'll have to purchase the codex, or at least the implication is that you'll have to purchase the codex, in order to redeem your code to unlock that 9th edition codex in the app itself. That is on top of the normal subscription fee, which means that you're probably going to be shelling out $30 to $50 on each of those codexes, in addition to a relatively low price of $3.99 GBP per month, which will probably end up being around $5 or $6 US. The benefits for the subscription are further explained later on in the article, where GW describes that you'll get access to the full 40k core book if you are a subscriber, uh, which means you'll be able to review those special stratagems, terrain, and mission rules. In addition, subscribers will unlock the Battle Forge, which is GW's new list building component to their app. Unfortunately, a release date is not yet forthcoming, but I assume that it'll be around the same time as the core book release, which will be June 25th. And from what it sounds like, the list building functionality will be a little bit delayed, but I assume that if you are able to put input the code for your existing 8th edition book, that will include updated points, costs, and stratagems as per the errata that is supposed to come out with the launch of the new edition. All in all, I'm pretty excited about the monthly cost for this subscription, but I am pretty worried about the added cost of having to buy codexes to input into the app. I think a lot of people are coming off of this article feeling pretty positive about it and thinking that they're only going to have to put that five or six dollars into it every month to unlock the rules that they need. But it looks like that that will be an added cost on top of the codexes that you're already buying. And if we see Codex Reap like we have in 8th edition, you may still have to drop one to two hundred dollars on your codexes, supplements, and expansion books in order to actually play your army with all of the stratagems that you actually use. Fortunately, Wahapedia has announced that they will be updating the rules for 9th edition, at least the core rulebook rules, and we can hope that they will continue to give support to all of the faction-specific rules and data sheets as well into 9th edition. Seriously, check these guys out if you haven't, and go over to their Patreon, patreon.com slash vgmaltsev, and throw them a couple bucks for doing what GW has not so far, which is offered their rules for a reasonable price. Well, I am excited about the possibilities of this app for list building, and to be a quick reference while you're playing the game in person, I am worried that it will just be a more expensive version of the pen and paper that we already use. And to be honest, most of the people that I know and play with have not actually purchased any of the GW rules because their asking price is so ridiculously high. If it is the case that you have to buy an in-person copy of the rulebook in order to unlock the functionality within the app, I have a sneaking suspicion that this app will see limited use and limited support in the future and may peter out and die. Whereas if they had asked for a slightly higher monthly fee or an upfront fee to purchase the app, I think a lot more people would be a lot more willing to shell out a couple extra bucks to get all of the rules for the game that they need. Not to mention that easy access to your opponent's rules without having to pay additional money for it makes the game easier to police and more interesting. We'll see how the functionality of this app shapes out in the end, but I am a little worried that it will remain too expensive for regular players to pick up and start using. Because the comparisons are being made, let's compare this to the monetization plan of War Room 2, which is Privateer Press's proprietary app for rules reference and list building. War Room only requires that you purchase each faction 
Nations rules for $9, and you can buy bundle deals for, I think, just around 100 that gives you access to every single model profile in the game with no recurring payments. A system like this is what I wish Games Workshop had adopted. Well, I think War Room had a couple issues in that once the player base made their one-time purchase, it had a hard time justifying additional upkeep. So I'm not opposed to a subscription model in order to fund updates to the app and rules. The upfront payment that GW is asking is a little exorbitant. For comparison, to buy the entire library of Games Workshop's codexes would cost you about $30 a piece times 30 publications, meaning that you're shelling out close to $1,000 on top of your monthly subscription fee, about 10 times what it would cost to buy every rule in the game for War Machine and Hordes. But anyway, that's just my opinion, and the 40k community has certainly proved me wrong with its ravenous appetite for GW products in the past, so time will tell how well this app does once it's finally released. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'd like to hear in the comments what you think about this new 40k player app. Are you going to use its functionality, or are you going to stick with old tried and true faithfuls like Battlescribe? getting your rules from Wahipedia. With the app coming out, do you think GW will crack down on free alternatives, or do you think that they're going to be forced to coexist with other options that are a lot easier on the wallet? Let me know what you think down below. Remember to check me out on Patreon, where you can get early access to videos and some patron-exclusive videos, as well as early access to T5S2 tournament pods. And speaking of T5S2, remember to check out the Season 1 Invitational starting on August 3rd. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep it classy, folks, and have happy wargaming.